YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and I'm back with another video, guys. Listen, really excited about this one because within this video, I'm actually going to get the Sony Alpha 95 King. That's what I've coined it. So the A95K for you guys that are too sensitive and who that offends. Why? I don't know, but I digress. Love this TV. Great. Had the last couple of weeks, two and a half weeks, almost three weeks with this television. Just breaking it in here, watching tons of content, streaming content from my Plex server. So movies, uh, TV shows, nothing live, but streamed everything. And it's been amazing. Um, I have absolutely loved the center functionality of this thing. You know, unplug my center speaker and have been using the TV. But today's video is going to be about the audio upgrade that's going to be a companion for this thing. So we got three pieces. The first is going to be the Sony sw3 this is a subwoofer that you can pair up with a couple of these different sound bars that they have we'll get into that in one second there's an sw5 which is the larger more premium option going to offer you more wattage um but i felt like for the bedroom the three will be accurate um for what i need because i do have carpet into the room uh, we also do have the rears so these are model rs3s so wireless rear speakers, you do get two of those for the rears. Um, and then the main attraction is going to be the Alpha 5000, right? Watch the mic tell me, no, man, you know, Alpha is the cameras. But yeah, so they got a 5000 and they got a 7000. 7000 offers you more wattage, more speakers, and a more premium top physically. But we're going to get these things unboxed, get them connected, take a look into it right after this intro. All right, as I said, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate all the support, the likes, the new subscribers and everything and everybody else that comes through and shows me some love, man. It's been a hell of a grind and we're going to keep going, man. We're above. Uh, 6,300 subscribers. We're on the road to 7K. Seven is my favorite number. So if you're watching and you are not tuned in, um, please be sure to do so. I got a couple different ways you can support. We got the, the thanks icon there if you want to tap in with that. Whatever you guys feel. But if you leave me comments, liking, I appreciate that. So yeah, this system right here, um, I can tell you guys that this is going to be a bit of a trial. Uh, I currently in my living room have a full a 7.1 setup. I've got two towers, two bookshelves, a center, two Atmos speakers, and then one subwoofer. They ironically are all Sony, um, as is the TV that's in there now. Um, but you know, the LG 77 class C1 is what belongs in there. And so that system is good enough. I played around with a lot of ideas, thought about moving that content upstairs to the bedroom. And I'm like, man, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because the kind of money that I was going to be spending to replace what's in there just too much. And I've never realistically had to turn that system up above 35, like for real, it's just so loud. Like it, it, it just works good for me guys. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna notice a difference, but this system right here, um, I think it's going to be a great option for the, the way that I intend to utilize it. And uh, I'm really excited to try it out. All right, we got the A5000 unboxed. Pretty cool presentation from a perspective of this. The 7000, as I did say, has like a gloss top to it. It looks really nice. I do wish I had both of them to show you, but it's just too much money to be spending just to, you know, show and review, right? But um, so just initial impressions. I like the way this thing feels. This does look really, really nice and impressive. It's not overly big and massive. I, I love the way it looks, right? Um, I actually prefer the non-gloss because I kind of feel like the fingerprints obviously you shouldn't be touching it a lot but even the dust I feel like it's going to show more with the 7000s finish uh, versus this so I think this is these are these are the reasons I went with this guy um, what I do not like is this remote um, and I'm going to tell you that although you don't really need this in the way that I'm going to use it this package is $1,000 now the biggest thing about this being $1,000 is that this is a standalone device because this is a standalone device, I do really feel like we need to be to a point where we have the same type of premium remotes 
material and the uh, backlist system that we have like with the television. The Alpha 95K has an amazing remote. That remote looks really good, feels really good, and this just feels cheap. It doesn't feel like it comes with, you know, something that's a thousand dollars. Uh, the second thing, because this device does actually have a HDMI 2.1 input, um, this cable doesn't give me indica any indication um, at all that, you know, it's a 2.1. So uh, that's another thing. I'm just keeping it real, man. Like if you're spending this kind of money retail, these are the things that you're looking for, right? So we've got a 2.0 cable. We've got a cheap remote. Um, and this is not my first rodeo with soundbars, nor is it Sony's. I bought their absolute premium a flagship soundbar in 2015 at bar retail for about 1400 um and it came with a remote pretty much like this just was thinner um so no changes no real desire there um it appears for them to give you anything like that also packaged you do get a mail to mail auxiliary cable so that's pretty cool if you want to be able to plug up like an ipod or something like that you can just go directly to it like i said it's a standalone music device if nothing else you do get a non-polarized cable and you do get some mounting hardware. Now, when we take a look at this thing physically, if you can get a little bit closer for me, the bottom of this, I love it. I love it. Strategically positioned rubber feet there and on the sides too, this thing feels really nice. I love it. The grill is not immediately removable, but you do have two, four, six, eight, ten screws on the bottom, Phillips screws to put you in position to remove that if you should need to. All your drivers are gonna be here and then you've got two that are up top for the Atmos. Coming around to the back. You can go ahead and do your thing, just stay up on it. You've got your HDMI connections in and out. You do have your center connection for the uh, subwoofer. I'm sorry, not for the subwoofer, but for the center speaker of the TV. Your non-polarized connection there for power. All right, so again, this thing is really nice, feels premium. I like the, the nice little touch that they've, they've got, like this, this kind of copper colorway for the Sony. I will be removing this, this um, advertisement. So we're gonna phase forward and I'm gonna see if this thing will fit in front of my TV. All right, so off camera, um, this transition, I just had this, the bar in front of the TV. My hope is because I haven't really played around with the logistics of the base of the TV. The TV base I have forward facing in my bedroom it's going to be rear facing. My hope is that putting it rear, I'll have the clearance that this is this height plus this TV has about that much will put me in a position where I can just set this thing in front of it. So when I set it here, it's covering the TV. And again, this is all experimental time. All right, so it's covering the TV. I'm really hopeful that, like I said, with the base being shifted to the rear, that I'll have a nice clean aesthetic because I don't plan on buying like another TV stand or any furniture or anything for this TV. This TV is literally just replacing where the C9 was, bedroom TV, like, yeah, that's what it is. And so I don't wanna have to buy anything else I just want to make sure that I do have optimal audio and obviously I need to be able to see. So if this doesn't work out, that could be a reason it'll go back. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get the other components open. Let's check them out. All right. So we're going to go ahead and crack these rears out of here just so we could take a look at everything that comes in a package. Guys, I haven't seen any reviews on this. I'm going to take a good look at that. See if you can get them like a, a roundabout with that. That thing feels good, like quality feels good. And I'll let you take a look at the back of this after you've seen that. So you can see like what the what the mounting looks like on that thing. So your, your non-polarized cable is just gonna go right in this area right here, just like that, All right? So you can kind of manage that out, so. Very excited about that. I mean, this is a full system. This and that, because you know they say that the bar offers some type of uh, low frequency. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I do really do really like the way that the the SW5 looks. 
Not a fan of this, it looks really basic, but I'm gonna tell you if this was not like a bedroom situation. Um, yeah. So this definitely feels good. I'll tell you that, feels good. Feels like it's of a quality build. This isn't too bad. It looks a lot better than I thought. This is like actually like a fabric, okay? This material is finished. It feels like the the top of the of the sound bar. Okay. So we've got woofer. I'm not sure where the woofer is. I'm gonna assume it's right in here. You've got the port right here. Nice material in there. Would have been nice if this was like a three-dimensional. Like, what is this? Like, give me something that I can feel. Same for this too. Give me an, give me an, a physical logo. Um, this is unacceptable from this company, a company that does great picture, either number one or number two in the world every year. Um, and then they have a reputation for audio. I don't care that this is the, the, the cheaper, this isn't cheap, but yeah, I, I would expect to have a physical lettering there. Uh, call me picky, but hey, you know, honest, honest review. Um, so yeah, so this comes with uh, non-polarized cable, plugs right into the back. Um, there's a power and a synchronization button on here. So this is the package, guys. These are the rears, this is the sub, and uh, that was the bar in there. So. We're going to go ahead and get the TV moved and then we'll, we'll continue on with testing this. All right, so got the rears position on this uh, Sanus mount. It's the one I went with, model EF-SAT-B1. So those are pretty clean. They do have to be uh, powered in. So once I get everything configured, I'll remove this. It's pretty clean. And then I've got the second one right here. So I'll reposition those a little bit if I need to. All right. This is the problem right here. So not the biggest fan of placing the TV with the stand or the base behind it. Um, it does make the TV have a sort of slant to it, but when you're looking at it, it's really not that big a deal. So the problem that I'm having is obviously TV starts right here. The sound bar in this current orientation. Again, I'm trying to prevent from having to purchase any additional furniture just to get this audio in here. So I'm gonna try to use some risers to stack them up because this is this is really sturdy here. I have to say that. This is extremely sturdy. I love it. Um, but just to to lift it up so that I can get here to be right there. So see how this goes. All right, and that didn't work. <laughs> so I'll be returning those, man. I got those two packs from Walmart for about seven bucks each. So I'll take that back and get my $14 back. kind of cool I'm literally it's I'm hearing it from here to there whoa these automatically connected that's what I was hearing okay so that might actually be cool <laughs> uh, let's see what this um, 360 demo does
Oh, the remote's actually cool. I was bashing the remote at the beginning of the video, but you have control for volume for rears and subwoofer. That's pretty dope. Interesting. Man, I just got done playing You Dig by Lil Baby. 42 Doug, man, he a Detroit rapper. I'm from uh, Detroit. This thing sounds great. I got the audio set about 45, 50%. Man, it sounds really good. Um, just listening to music, vocals were coming out of the center. Um, I am getting like a simulation of a stereo from the rears too, but the strongest uh, piece is coming from the center. This might actually work out to be really good for me, guys, because if at this point, if I plug this center con connection directly into the TV and make the A95K speaker act as the center, I'm set with this because this sounds good. The bass with this was pretty good for me. I'm telling you, like, keep in mind, this is a bedroom setup. Um, it sounded really good. The demo sound good. Then listening to some content that I obviously can't play. It sound pretty good also. So this is more or less what my setup's gonna look like for now at least. I'm gonna see how everything sounds. Also, I wanna correct within this video earlier, transitions when I was doing the unboxing. I said this was for um, you to be able to plug up like an MP3 player or something to that effect. This is actually the included cable that makes it so that you can plug this to the A95K. Now my A90K, I have that in 48 inch. If you guys haven't checked out the review and such on that, it's great TV, best looking 48 that you can get. I know Asus has an OLED, but nothing looks as good as the A90K. Um, it also has this, and I was wondering like, how the hell will I get a center speaker connected? I guessed this is pretty specific for like the sound bars that they have. So the sound bar has a plug like this, and the A95K, uh, it has the positive negative terminal uh, for you to be able to plug in your speakers. That's how I had it configured with my receiver. But you also have a uh, center speaker in right here, right? So taking the audio from this, from its center speaker um, to put it there. So I'm excited to get this uh, tested. Now I have to just hope that the last transition doesn't give me some kind of strike or anything like that. However, I actually like this system. It's pretty good. Um, I don't think I need to draw this video out anymore. I am open to answering any questions that you might have. And should I decide to get me a piece of furniture or change this setup, which I really don't think I want to do, I will be more than happy to make more content to show you guys. Um, yeah, but this is my unboxing, my quick view, and my initial impressions of the Sony A5000 soundbar with the complimentary speakers that go along with it. Again, I've got the three series uh, rears um, and also the SW3. They have the five for both that are more immersive and they also have an uh, A7000. But as you can see, this is exactly why I did not need to go with the A7000. All of this was really, really strategically planned. Um, I didn't want to mount the TV or anything like that. I actually love the way that it looks and it sets on my dresser. Um, as I said, I need to clean up some nicks and such like that, but it's setting pretty clean, pretty flush there. I do love the way this thing looks. This TV is amazing also, by the way. I'm loving it. I'm coming from a C9 here um, and also having an S95B to the left of it for gaming. 
I'll be able to create some more content going forward. But if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please leave a thumb up. If you're not subscribed and you happen to come by and, you know, because you were wondering about this soundbar or whatever, I may have tagged the video to get you here. Go ahead and consider subscribing. Check out some of the other content. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless. Max love.